Uh, one of the topics that comes up every year at OFC is integrated photonics, and there's really been several efforts or several camps of development. Silicon photonics has been a, an active topic for the last decade or so at worldwide research labs and universities and companies, um, and as well as just pushing the state of the art in 3.5 or indium phosphide integration, and, and both of those kinds of component technologies are, are well represented at OFC. Um, we are organizing a rump session this, uh, this time that will hopefully generate a lot of um, hopefully heated discussion or at least impassioned discussion on both sides and that rump session is really looking at the role of, of integrated silicon uh, photonics and whether it really is coming to the point where it needs to move out of the research lab and become a, a viable technology that can deliver on a lot of the promise that's been identified over the last years or whether it's just kind of relegated to more of a, a, a research curiosity that's uh, got substantial issues to, to being fully deployed and it's maybe a few years out because of these somewhat overlooked issues that research papers don't necessarily highlight but are crucial to kind of pushing the technology into the marketplace like packaging and cost and all those kind of mundane issues that can really prevent a technology from seeing the light of day. One of the questions with silicon photonics is really, uh, there, there's been a vision with a, with a kind of a roadmap where silicon photonics is kind of superseding all the other technologies or it, sort of, it phases out, Vixel interconnects for short reach because it's, it's cheap, you can build it in silicon um, and it can offer WDM at a, a relatively low cost because you can build multiplexers and demultiplexers right monolithically into the silicon. Um, so there's been a lot of promise about a, a very low-cost WDM compatible technology or enabling technology that could be used for things like computer interconnects or data centers. Um, at this point right now, I would say we don't see WDM deployments in data centers for cost reasons. And if, if silicon photonics doesn't necessarily deliver on that, I don't think it's necessarily that the technology will go away or that it won't, you know, maybe d d displace other technologies. Uh, completely, I think what would, we'd see is a coexistence where there are single mode technologies that could be used for longer reach uh, applications within data centers, but, but Vixel interconnects and even Copper interconnects, which is kind of the real boogeyman for us optical people, they'll continue to be there. So it'll really be an application specific decision for, for systems companies whether they really need single mode or multi mode or copper technologies, but really. I, if you think, if you look into the future, silicon photonics is probably just one of a number of optical technologies that's going to coexist and that will be something that really offers certain advantages in certain fields and, and has its own shortcomings. Mm -hmm.